Good afternoon. Today we are going to study Chapter 3 Decision Procedure Part 5 in which we will continue with the previous exercise truth table as a test for validity of arguments. We already know when is an argument valid and when it is invalid. We know the condition of invalidity is 1. So when it exists then it is invalid and when it does not exist then the argument is valid. An argument is invalid when all the premises are true but the conclusion is false. So this is the condition of invalidity. So let us continue with the exercise. Now we come to the fourth if and only if. It is false that Meer is not short, then he can reach the shelf. This is the first premise. The second is Meer can reach the shelf or Meer is short. Therefore, Meer can reach the shelf is the conclusion. So, Meer is not short is S. He can reach the shelf is R. Let us see how to symbolize the first premise. It is if and only if. It is false that Meer is not short. So curl, curl, S. Then means triple bar, he can reach the shell. Curl, curl, S, triple bar, R. Second, Meer can reach the shell. So it will be or Meer is short. So R wedge S. And what is the conclusion? Meer can reach the shell. Therefore, R. Now, argument form will be curl curl P triple bar Q. Second will be Q wedge P. Therefore, Q. Now, the number of propositional variables are 2. This will be 2. The number of rows will be 2 raised to n. That is 2 into 2. That is equal to 4. Write the table. Matrix. Write the number of propositional variables P and Q. First premise, second premise and conclusion. Assign the values to P, true, true, false, false. Assign the values to Q, true, false, true, false. In the first premise, write P's values. Write Q's values. Negate P's values. Negate those values. Again, now you are going to solve triple bar, which is the main connective in the first premise. It is true when both equal values. So you are going to check. Double negation means only affirmative proposition. Even if you check these values, it is okay. Or this value you will have to check. If both are true, then it will be true. Unequal values, then false. Unequal values then false. Both are false, then it is true. This is the main connective in the first premise. Now assign P's value to and Q's value to premise 2. Now solve which when is it true? When at least one is true, so both are true, then it is true. Right is true, then true. Left conjunct is true, then true. Sorry. Left disjunct is true, then true, and both the disjuncts are false, then only it is false. Main connective is disjunction. Now, Q's value will assign in the conclusion true, false, true, false. Now, check whether the argument is valid or invalid. When both the premises are true, check the conclusion. It's are true, then conclusion is true. Second row. It is false in the first premise, no need of checking. The second premise, second row also, first premise is false, no need of checking. The fourth row also, second premise is false, no need of checking. So there is no such row where all the premises are true and conclusion is false. So the argument is valid. Okay. The girl is beautiful but not smart is the first premise. If and only if the girl is smart, then she can win the beauty contest. 
is the second premise therefore the girl cannot win the beauty contest is the conclusion b for the girl is beautiful s for uh, she is smart and w for wins the beauty contest so let us symbolize it the girl is beautiful but not smart so but is the main connective and not is the second connective is the conjunctive the second conjunct has not in it so it will be symbolic form will be b dot curl s second premise if and only if then is the main connective so your main connective is if and only if then so what will be the connective triple bar so in the second s triple bar w therefore the girl is uh, cannot win the beauty contest so it will be curl w now argument form p dot curl q q triple bar r therefore curl r how many propositional variables are there three so columns will be three and the number of rows will be two raised to n that is two raised to three that is equal to two into two into two that is equal to eight now we'll write the table truth table number of rows matrix premise one premise two and conclusion We'll write the combination of propositional variables p q r in the matrix then we'll assign their truth values p's values will be half of 8 that is 4 so we'll write 4 trues and 4 false then we will write q's value half of 4 is 2, so 2 trues and 2 false in the second column below Q. Then in the third column below R, half of 2 is 1, so 1 true and 1 false. Now we will write premise 1, then we will write premise 2, then we will write conclusion. Now we will assign the values to P and Q in premise 1. Now Q's value we have assigned. And now we will negate Q's value. Now Taking P's value and negative Q's value will solve dot. Dot is true or conjunction is true when both the conjuncts are true and it is false when at least one is false. So right side false, so false, right side false, so false, right, both are true then true, both are true then true, both are false then false, both are false then false. One is false also it will be false now second premise we will assign the values of q and r now we will be solving equivalence when is it true and when is it false when both the components have equal truth values then it is true and when they have unequal truth values then it is false so we will assign their values both are true then it is true any one uh, one is true and the other is false then false one is false and other is true then false. Both are false then it is true. Both are true then it is true. 
uh, unequal values then false, unequal values then false, then both are false, then true. Now we'll assign the values to R, true, false. Now we will negate, then we will negate the R's values. Now what we will do, we will check whether the argument is valid or invalid. So what you have to do, we have to check whether both the premises are true. And then you will have to check whether the conclusion is true or false. Let us check. In the first premise, it is false, so no need of checking. In the first row, in the second row also false, so no need of checking in the first premise. In the third row also the premise is false, so no need of checking. In the fourth row, we will be seeing that both the premise below the main connective are true, but the conclusion also is true. Now since in the premises in every row it is false, no need of checking further. Since we did not find any invalidity condition, so the argument is valid. There is no such row where all the premises are true and the conclusion is false. Now let us take the sixth example. Logic is a science of reasoning is the first premise. Either logic is a science of reasoning or not a science of reasoning is the second premise. Therefore, logic is not a science of reasoning is the conclusion. As for logic is a science of reasoning. Let us solve. Symbolize it. The first premise, logic is a science of reasoning. S. The second premise, logic is a science of reasoning or not a science of reasoning. So S, either or is the main connector and not is the, for the second disjunct. So it will be S which call S. Therefore, logic is not a science of reasoning will be called S. Now we will have an argument form P. Second premise, P wedge, curl P, therefore curl P. How many propositional variables are there in this given expression? Only one. Number of columns will be one and the number of rows will be 2 raised to n, that is 2 raised to 1, that is 2. So let us write the matrix now. Number of rows, matrix 1, uh, matrix, sorry, premise 1, premise 2 and conclusion. There will be only P in the matrix. The truth values will be true and false. Then premise 1, premise 2 and conclusion. We will assign the values. Half of 2 is 1. So 1, 2 and 1. Now in the premise 1, we assign the values of P. Which will be the main connector. Then in the premise 2, we will assign the values to P. Now we will negate the values of P. False, true. Now we will solve this junction. It joins a affirmative and a negative P. So taking the values of P and negative P, we will solve this junction. This junction is true when at least one is true. So left is true, so it will be true. Right is true, so it will be true. Now the main connector is disjunction in the second premise. Now we come to the conclusion. P's value will be true, false. And Negation of that will be false true. I will have to check whether the argument is valid or invalid. To check, we have to see whether both the premises are true or not. In the first premise, we can see that both the premises are true. I will have to check whether the conclusion is true or false. It is false. So we have found the invalidity condition in the first row and therefore the argument is invalid.
the first row all the premises are true and the conclusion is false now we come to the seventh example if and only if you exercise daily comma you will be healthy this will be the first premise it is not the case that you are healthy this is the second premise therefore you do not exercise daily this is the conclusion now we will symbolize this if and only if is the main connective and you are exercise daily is e and you will be healthy is h so it will be e triple bar h second premise it is not the case that you are healthy curl h therefore you do not exercise not is the connective in the conclusion so it will be curl e now let us write the argument form p triple bar q curl q therefore curl p number of propositional variables are 2 columns will be 2 number of rows will be 2 raised to 2 that is 4 now we come to the writing of fruit table number of rows matrix premise 1 premise 2 and conclusion matrix will write the combination of propositional variables pq premise 1 premise 2 and conclusion these values will be half of 4 that is 2 so two trues and two false below p second column half of 2 is 1 so one true and one false now we'll assign the p's and q's value in premise 1 now we will solve equivalence when is it true when both ha are having equal truth values so both true then true unequal values then false unequal values then false then both are equal then true now main connective is equivalence in the premise 1 now we'll solve premise 2 q's value we'll assign now negation of q is false true false true now negation is main in the second premise now we'll write the conclusion true false true true false false below p now negate it false false true true now what we have to do is check whether the argument is valid or invalid to check we will have to see whether all premises are true see in this case the second premise is false so no need of checking in this case first premise is false no need of checking no need of checking no need of checking so we have not found any such row where all premises are true and conclusion false so it's valid argument is valid no invalidity condition is there so we will continue this exercise to test the validity of arguments in the next class thank you